Around the Earth today, we have thousands and thousands of objects orbiting around in the near frictionless environment of the cold vacuum of space. And that now is a big hazard to future space flight, uh, not just to robotic spacecraft, but also to people working, for example, on the space station. Uh, one of the problem is the potential for the Kessler syndrome, where you have two pieces of debris colliding and producing a lot of little pieces of debris that in turn can go and collide with other debris and so you have like a snowball effect, uh, like a chain reaction and so the problem gets worse. What we need to do is to go into space and start to clean it up. The question is how to do that. Left to their own devices, the satellites don't readily fall down. They may take many tens if not hundreds of years to fall down. So we need to accelerate that process and here at Surrey we've developed a technology to enable us to do that for satellites which are in this bottom region of space, what we call low Earth orbit. Removed debris was launched from Cape Canaveral on a Falcon 9 spacecraft and was launched up to the ISS on the 2nd of April. Then astronauts unpacked removed debris from its container and put it onto a slide table that goes through an airlock through the International Space Station. In the coming days, a robotic arm is going to grab hold of removed debris and actually place it into the space orbit and then it will be released and then the active demonstration can start. The visual based navigation experiment is intended to demonstrate different ways of perceiving debris which is in space. So the visual based navigation experiment will actually see debris and work out how it's moving and how best then to deal with the debris. Another experiment is the net, where we will give a demonstration of how you can capture a piece of debris using a net. And DS1 CubeSat is ejected from the platform and then six metres away from the platform will inflate a one metre large target to present a larger area for the net to capture. All of this will be recorded by video cameras on board the platform and the data will be sent back to Earth. So we'll have a CubeSat which is released, a large target being inflated, and then the net ejected and wrapping itself round the target and bringing the whole lot home, all videoed by removed debris. We will also demonstrate another method that you can use to capture a piece of debris using a harpoon. You fire the harpoon into the panel. One of the main things we aim to learn from this is how things behave and move in zero G and in zero air environment. It's very difficult to test a harpoon and the tether of the harpoon on the ground and the best way to really test it is in the space environment. So the question is how to bring this debris down. Well our final experiment uh, will hopefully demonstrate how this is to be done. If we think about the earth and the atmosphere, the bit that you and I breathe is the tiny, tiny layer uh, down by on the sort of skin of this, uh, of this globe. As we go up to space altitudes, this sort of height then the atmosphere is still there, but it's incredibly thin. What we need then is something to make the satellite very, very big so it can drag against this tiny amount of gas to uh, provide some friction to start to bring the satellite down to low altitude. So what we'll do is we'll deploy a large sail and this sail will drag against the residual atmosphere bringing energy out of the uh, orbit, bringing the satellite down lower and lower. And of course, as it comes down lower, the atmospheric density gets bigger and bigger, and so the effect really builds up. And eventually, when we're up at uh, about a couple of hundred kilometres, 180 kilometres, the uh, frictional effect of the, uh, the air rushing by us is enough to heat us up to a temperature hotter than the surface of the sun. And in fact, the satellite will completely vaporise, just end up as a puff of gas. Now if you were looking at this, you'd see it as a bright shooting star going across the sky. Indeed, some of the shooting stars that you do see, say on a dark night, are in fact bits of debris re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Some of, his, some of it is artificial, uh, but uh, some of it is also natural. There's natural dust in space as well. So this is how we plan to get rid of the spacecraft and how in the future we'll get rid of many of the satellites in low Earth orbit.